like heart does. Heart is quite anchored in higher dimensions. It's the access point for them, actually. And remember, I'm not talking about emotions or feelings here. Mind has one way of viewing reality and an almost infinite variety of versions of that. These are called opinions and theories, and there's nothing in the world wrong with them. I'm quite in favor of mind overall, just not of mind being in charge of reality and the way that we view that. Why? Well, because mind is too limited for that. For spirit to compress itself into mind is to have its frequency band's wings clipped. Mind is a box, my friends, a box that has limitations. Spirit is anything but. Okay, I'm not likely to be able to talk you out of the supremacy of mind in your life in this one talk. So I'll give over and just say what I have to say and be done. Many of the ETs and alien life forms we are dealing with have their existence on other dimensions and not just the physical. If we limit and restrict ourselves to a strictly physical reality, then we are greatly disadvantaged by that. That is perhaps, or partly, how ancient peoples came to worship ETs, calling them gods. Many things, when seen from a strictly 3D perspective, look quite like miracles when they're anything but. They're just science, taken up into other dimensions and frequencies. Do you see? Thus, even from a strictly 3D perspective, when considering the alien or ET question, it is best to begin developing our spiritual muscles, or at least finding them. So, this is a plea to at least consider stepping away from the box of the mental mind or the belief that the mind's ideas and perspectives on things are the only right ones. This is limited. Byron Katie, you don't even have to be spiritual and believe in Source or God for this. You believe in life, don't you? Well then, that's enough. Life is much limited than we think, and you're much more unlimited than you've any notion of being, and that goes for me too. It's belief in those limits, those structures of thought and belief that has carved out the reality in which you abide, please consider some new construction. To do that, you must first engage in the deconstruction of the worship of mind. That is behind my pieces on the worship of science as if it were a god, and it isn't. It's just the structure of 3D and it's only opinions and best theories on that. Remember when the world was flat? I know I'm dethroning many people's icons with this, but that can't be helped. Things are changing, time is growing short or accelerating, however you look at it, and it's high time we all woke up for a change. We've been basically walking zombies for millennia now. Hello, anybody home in there? Is there someone besides the body or mind? Yoo-hoo, reality's calling. Have a new look, why don't you? It won't hurt too much, and the old way is waiting in case you want to come back to it. Come on then, step out of the freaking box. I'll put some great links with this transcript to be helpful with that. I'm calling you out now. Feel this energy reach you. Open your mind to realize that you are energy beings, not just physical containers for same. Step up into your energy bodies or vehicles. I dare ya.